Ooh, it's tilted. Why is it tilting? Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Jules Rambling, the barn vlog to throw up for you. So I went to the salary liquidators in Haymarket and picked up a sleek and easy. So I'm actually, I'm gonna go test this on my black mare and see how it works. You can't see my face in the video. Look at bro scratching her. Oh. Okay guys, so I was trying it on my black mare. She's clearly not shedding that much. So I want to try it on my gray one, Rose. And it's awesome. Look at this. She'd like this. She is very sensitive and she is definitely enjoying. But the horse I didn't think would like it. Sleek and easy. Pretty cool. I think, Rose. What do you think? Can I come up her neck? Oh, she says this is itchy. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Don't step on my foot. <laughs> Brooke. What? Look fun? at her. Oh, this is uh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Just so you guys know, the other grooming tool we're using is a slick and easy. It's kind of, um, it's coarse. It's kind of like coral. Oh, it's porous. Please don't bow into me. Um, it's porous. And if you've got a thin skin horse, I find this works really well. My thoroughbred is thin skin, but she is really loving this slick and easy. So, two thumbs up in my book. It's really awesome. Guys, it looks like we've killed a horse. Look at all this hair. It's, it's snowing. <laughs> what do you think? Hello, sweetie. She says, what is up? What is up? And you, ma'am, you're, oh, oh. This horse yawns so much when being groomed. I have never in my life met with such a yawny mare. Episode about meet my, my meet my horses. Um, gotta be a dream, aka magic. This is magic. And for those of my viewers who haven't watched it, I will put a link in the description box below. She is our. I think she's turning nine this year. I'll have to look at her papers. Nine-year-old Appaloosa. She. We are working through some anger and anxiety issues. So today I'm just going to be playing with her on the ground. I haven't done a lot of groundwork with her recently, so I think she's gotten kind of pushy. She's not a bully, she's not mean towards people, she's just being a little pushy. So I'm just going to be playing with her on the ground and working with her on getting her to loosen up and um, respond a little bit better to my gentle aids. She's overreacting to everything, so I'm going to show you real quick. I just put my arm over her neck. Not putting any pressure, I'm not asking for anything, and she gets angry. So we're just working on things like this. I don't know if you can hear that, but she ground her teeth really hard. <laughs> so we're just working on that. She just has these weird anxiety issues. So that's what we're gonna be doing today.
think that's it. She's being pretty responsive. Um, it's not a lot, it's pretty simple. Just making her move her feet, asking her to relax and step over her front feet, backing away. Um, she just, she gets very anxious and angry, so she grinds her teeth and pins her ears and gets very insecure. So right now I'm just trying to teach her that pressure does not necessarily mean it's a bad thing. So every time I put the pressure on, if she gets angry, I keep the pressure on. And as soon as she does what I wanted without getting any, getting angry, I take the pressure off. So it's a slow start, but we're making progress slowly but surely. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. And until next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>